in it? What was it like being in a video game? You know, it was, uh, this, it's so not real life. Um, the suit was really a tough, and I, I can't say that enough, the suit was a, was a struggle for all of us. I think we all struggled individually to mentally process, like, we're going to put the suit on and we're going to be in it for a long time, you know, and you just have to be all right, you know. All my weird, like, normal clothes felt odd at, at a, a certain point because you're just used to this kind of constricting outfit. But having that just kind of catapulted you into this world, you know, so you needed it in a way, even though it was really painful, you needed it to get there, <laughs> you know. Costuming and music and everything, it just kind of... It was that's the, what got you. It's like that was all the research you needed. I mean, it's very. What are you? What are you going to research about a program? What are you going to? You know, it's imagination at that point. It's playing with, you know, how you react in life towards things. It's it's not a human reaction, you know. And I think it's very much about behavior and subtleties. And um, that suit kind of lent itself to to knowing how to function in it, you know. So. Uh, Yesterday also spoke a bit about how technology brings us together, but there's also the dark side of technology, which is saying that that has that non-human feel to it. Is that maybe a bit of that dark side of technology? Yeah, I've, you know, I've heard that a little bit, like the the dark side of it, and that, that this film is a little dark, and I guess. There is that element, but maybe the darkness comes from like the unknown rather than like it being a dark film. Because I see other films that are just so dark, and they're not supposed. To, it's human life and whatever it, it is, and this didn't feel like. I, mean, I guess there is a darkness, but I think it's that unknown world of like grasping something that is nothing you can experience, really, truly. So that's that's a scary thing. But, and, and te I think technology taking over, you know, modern day is frightening in itself, you know. Communication is now becoming text, email, it's like no longer do people write letters or show up at someone's door, and I have a whole theory on technology that, <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like we've, in a lot of ways, you, you lose um, what fate is supposed to be, because we've interconnected through Facebook or whatever it is, like you can meet it, people that maybe you weren't supposed to, or maybe right. like in your past that you were supposed to let go, but they're back again. So I have a whole like, I get a little frightened, it's overwhelming for me, because sometimes I just think your path is supposed to be your path, but technology kind of messes with it sometimes, you know, that constantly connected, constantly communicating, you know, when maybe you're not supposed to be. Definitely, definitely. So are you a Facebook, Twitter fan? Or are you? I do. <laughs> I'm not on Facebook. There's a couple that uh, of fake Facebook pages, um, but I'm not actually on Facebook. I just started Twitter, and I'm on a battle of do I want to do this or not. But I'm, I'm kind of, it's interesting. I mean, there's really people, like, cool people to follow and learn about certain things. And But then a part of me is like, ah, oh, I fight it. I really do. I really fight it. I, I think it's just my background, being raised in, like, totally not that, you know? <laughs> so I kind of struggle with it. I feel really dumb sometimes writing things. I'm like, is that, like, am I a narcissist? Because I'm like, thinking people should follow me? I just get into this, like, <laughs> I start to think too much about it, you know? But I think if, if people love it and it makes you feel connected, that's another issue for me, is I, I just, I guess I don't like feeling connected always. I like to be able to escape. Definitely. Yeah. It's good to be able to get away. Yeah, right? <laughs> Definitely. And just, like, find yourself again. Definitely. So. Well, cool. Thank yeah. you so much Thanks for your time.